I think my fondest memories of the game are playing golf with my dad in the afternoon after school. I couldn't wait for school to end because he was going to pick me up and we were going to head straight to the golf course. I don't remember it as well as my mom does, but I remember watching Seve uh, walk up 18, I think it was the uh, 1980 Masters, and I was nine, and I turned to my mom and said, I want to win that tournament. It's true that I'm right-handed in everything else that I do, and I just play golf left-handed. It's because I mirror image my father when I was a kid watching him play. I would go out in the backyard and I would practice and chip and putt, but hitting the same shots would get to be so monotonous that I would move around the yard and I would go behind the orange tree or under the avocado tree. I remember working at a, a golf course uh, starting there when I was eight and picking up range balls with a hard hat and a, a little picker because we really couldn't afford a, a membership at the time and uh, I didn't have the opportunity to play a lot of golf unless I did that. I'm very lucky to have, in my opinion, the best caddy in the game in Bones. Jim McKay and I have been together for, for 18 years now. Bones does things that normal caddies don't do. But you know, I work for one of the very best players in the world, if not the best, so I better get my butt out there and, and, and be ready You know, when the, the, the gun goes off on Thursday. He has documented uh, my shots, distances, what club I hit, how I tried to hit it, how far the ball flew, what the temperature was, what the wind conditions were, so that we have a reference year in and year out as to club selection. I don't know of any caddies that are out there, you know, looking necessarily for a paycheck. You know, everybody, of course, wants to pay the rent, but it's more about, you know, all that time you spend with a player on the golf course, on the range, and, and does it ultimately lead to something incredible at the end of the week? I think that to win tournaments on the PGA Tour, whether it's majors or, or regular events, you have to be aggressive and you have to take some chances. You cannot be passive and let everybody else make mistakes. For me, at the Masters in 2010, that shot was on 13. I knew that I could hit that shot. It was a critical moment. And, and there are sometimes you just have to challenge yourself and, and bring it on. Winning my first major, the 2004 Masters, was really a highlight for me. And being able to share that with my family was, was really special. I had my parents there and we had our kids. And to be able to share that with your family makes it so much more fulfilling. And, I still look back at the, the highlights of that tournament and the thing that I can't get out of my head that is, is, is ingrained is a picture of me holding my daughter as I had just won.